Welcome back to Magnetic Max. So here we have a magnet fishing video. Finally, we're able to do one. So hopefully it'll be a good one, and hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Um, weather's good for it. Like you can see where I am, there's nobody around me, and even if somebody was to walk by, they're well away from me, so nowhere near. Perfectly safe here, and we should be all good. So hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Little Mac's not with me. Um, I'm not bringing him out just yet. Don't feel comfortable bringing him out yet. When I'm traveling to and from locations, I am wearing a mask. Obviously, when I'm standing here recording, I don't want to freak you guys out and wear one. So hopefully that's not a problem. <laughs> right. Speak to you guys again soon when I find something. Right. So as I'm traveling around today, I'm traveling around on my bike. And I think I must have done about 10 miles plus by now. I don't have much luck today at all. So come to a spot where I know I normally get things from. So we're going to try this out and as you can see well away again uh, if this one don't work i'm going to end up going down the infamous strip where all the best things are found but i will be on the opposite side so not where there's a public footpath so wish me luck guys all right i've been at this spot for about eh, 10 minutes and i've got a couple of bits already so we've got a hard drive i'm not sure which one can't really make it out because it won't clean off enough, I don't think. Will it? It's 160 GB though, I know that, so it's 160 gig. Random piece of metal, 2P, Duracell battery, and a cash box. I have a BT payphone, as you can see. Property of BT. It's not bad so far, doing well. Hopefully, we'll find more. There we go, it's been a bit longer. I've had quite a few more things out now. No bike. We've also got a sheath. Is it a sheath? The cover for a sword. But that's what that's a metal one that is. So whether it's an old one or not, I don't know. Very different. A few more bits here. And then we've got this. Um which says Michael and Leanne. Second oh seven two thousand sixteen. Hmm. Right, so here's the one that I've just pulled out. It looks like a very nice knife that does, but what worries me is that doesn't look like it's been in there for very long at all. Hmm. <laughs> That's a beastly knife, that is. So you can see the size compared to my hand. Look at that. And then, I also found this. Nothing special. So obviously it's magnetic. But it's good, got a good old uh, Uzi on there. Look at that. So I've technically found a gun. <laughs> that would amuse you. Looks nice though. So that's what we've got so far. Hopefully the stuff like this just keeps coming. It's getting good. That knife is evil though. Right, so I found a safe. Well, form of a safe. Which is super, super heavy, even though the water's emptied out of it now. Doesn't look like it's been opened yet. Still looks like it's sealed. I've had to get the Grim Reaper to come down here just to help me get it out. I, I was asleep. Because <laughs> I can't move it. So at the minute, We've got it tied off with a magnet on the top of it. As you can see, there it is. So we're going to keep attempting to get it out, and hopefully we can. Because if it is sealed, it's something I'm going to have to take home with me, and Little Mac are going to have to try and get in it. So, hopefully we get it. You ready? Three, two, one. Got it. Is that with a reef? We got it out. We got it. There it is. So there it is. Now the next challenge is getting it home. <laughs> Gotta get it home to open it. 
still heavy, even though there's no water in it now. Good size, still solid all the way around, as you can see. No holes, nothing. Oh, good one that was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my hands are stinging. Yeah, time for the clean up, get things sorted, get home, get this open. Well, as you've just seen, I said that we were going to be taking the safe home. Well, as the Grim Reaper picked it up to take it up those steps that were behind there, he dropped it and it popped open on the step. Um, and it was just full of runny, soggy mud which is what made it extremely heavy. So obviously nothing valuable, nothing special, which was a shame, uh, but it was still fun getting it out. Uh, but what you're gonna see now is a clip um, I'm gonna put in of me and little Max sitting there having a chat uh, because um, I had a council lady approach me the day of the video that you're watching. Um, and some things were said um, that I think people need to know um, so I'm going to be putting that in, but little Matt's going to be joining me. So hopefully you'll enjoy it, and hopefully you'll stick us a thumbs up on this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, so here's little Mac. Now he's with me. Hello. So like I said, we're going to have a little chat. Um, I just wanted to mention what the uh, council lady said to me that approached me. Um, obviously when I was recording the video. She approached me about mess um, and things being left behind and so on making sure I wasn't the one that was leaving it behind um, and I assured her that I always make sure my stuff's cleaned, moved, uh, Scrapman always comes to collect um, so I had to give her a reference to my YouTube channel so she could actually check what I do um, but she did tell me a story um, that happened a few months ago um, somebody was local to my area I don't know who it is um, but they pulled out a safe under a bridge uh, near Watermead, if anybody knows it. Um, they left the safe on the towpath, but against the wall of the bridge. Um, but it's it's on a blind corner, so if you was to come round, you wouldn't see it. Somebody was riding down there on their push bike. Um, they went round the corner, buckled and fell off um, due to the safe. And as they fell, they actually broke their arm. Um, so I wanted to put this message out to the irresponsible magnet fishers. Please just make sure you get your stuff moved, collected, whatever you've got to do to get rid of it. Just don't leave it in the middle of a path or anywhere where anybody can get hurt on it because obviously it shows an example that it can happen. Um, it's called Yeah, it's not difficult and she was always also telling me about children that have managed to hurt themselves on scrap metal that's been left at the side when they've been walking by it with the shorts on and things like that and they managed to scratch the legs and things. Um, this is why I always say to people, just make sure, just get it moved. It's a lot less hassle for everybody else and she even turned around and says, that the magnet fishers that are doing that are giving everybody else a bad name for it. Um, because she actually turned around and said that she agrees with magnet fishing and the, the benefits that it has, but she just disagrees with the the, the downside of things of what happens. Um, so yeah, that would be it. I don't want to put a downer on the end of the video, but it had to be said. And I think it's something that everybody should have known. I think it's because the lad broke his arm. That's that's quite serious. It's not like he fell off. He broke his arm. That, that yeah, takes an off. Either way. Um, but I thought I'd tell you everybody. So, so putting a bad note on the end of the video, just make sure to like, share, subscribe as always. Yeah, comment down you don't below. You don't have to share. Just make sure you like and subscribe. It's a big benefit to us. Helps us out a lot, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah. Until the next time, remember, if you're going to stick a thumbs down, thumbs down make down below. the reason why you're doing it. And until the next time, stay green. Bye. Bye.